If you know the times of your draw to first hit as a firearms carrier today, you'll get another reminder of when your counter ambush comes. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Houston, Texas. Today's video was brought to us by Mantis. The Mantis family of products is integral to ASP staff building handgun and carbine skills and are your most economical and fastest path to improvement in your skills too. Whether you choose the X10, the Laser Academy, the Blackbeard, or use them all in concert, they will help your practice be more effective, efficient, and fun. Go check them out, pick up a unit, and thank them for sponsoring today's video. Our perp here is the guy in the mask with the hood up, that's a clue. He's gonna walk up and order himself a hot and ready, and instead of getting his wallet, he is going to pick out a firearm and threaten the clerk with it by chambering it. The clerk is gonna be very kind, very obedient, gonna, okay man, here is the register, gonna pick the money out of the register, ones and fives and tens here. Okay, dude, you got you know $62 worth of stuff. Hand it to him. Our dude is going to kind of take a look around a little bit and, and talk to him for a minute. I don't know what he talked about there. And then he is going to kind of mosey on out of there while he puts his gun up. You can see here with the mask up, I don't know the police got a decent you know kind of description of our perp at all. I'm sure they're going to have a hard time finding this guy. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. All right, I moved in. This is me being goofy. I haven't gotten a haircut in forever, so... Don't roast me, would you? I'm just being goofy and trying something different. I've been out of the military for, gosh, now almost 20 years. Never decided to never grow my hair long. So I was like, what the heck, let's try it. So be nice, would you? The beginning of this here is really one of two ways that we see armed robbery start. The first one is they bust in the door with the guns up. The second one is they hide like a customer and, and then launch the attack when the register opens because you know they, they gave a dollar or something like that. You know They were gonna pay for their food. So listen, you've got to be prepared for either one of those. The big pre-attack indicator here in 2023 is the mask on and the hood up. That's a hard no from me, dog. If you're working in a, a retail environment of any kind or an office environment, nope, hood down, mask off, please. If you want to wear a mask, okay, fine, but I want the hood down and I want you to pull that down so that I can identify your face, please, sir, and then you can put it back up. This is, is simply a hiding technique and it should not be okay in 2023, though the remnants of the pandemic have kind of let it. So now they're going to launch the attack from that place of ambush and you notice here he chambers around so that the, the clerk can see it's a real gun and it's loaded. Always assume if somebody is using a gun to threaten you that it's real, that it's loaded, and that they are willing to use it, right? So this is an intimidation tactic. It's a big difference between a private citizen gunfight and a law enforcement gunfight. If somebody pulls a gun on a cop, they're going to use it immediately. When they pull a gun in these kinds of situations against a private citizen, usually what's going on here is that they're intimidating with that. They are threatening with the gun. And so you got to use purposeful compliance, but recognize that your chance of counter ambush may come very quickly if you're a concealed carrier, like right here. So again, if he shows you his ear, if he turns his face to you, shows you either ear, if you have a 1.5 second draw and first hit on a large target or on a small target, then you can counter ambush this guy and there's nothing he's going to do to get around to you. Human performance won't allow it. So by the time he turns his head, then turns back, identifies what it is, decides he needs to shoot you and shoots you it takes at least one more than 1.5 seconds for him to do all of that so if you've got a 1.5 but only if you know you have a 1.5 you can launch a counter ambush here now secondarily here when he comes back you notice it takes him a little bit of time to kind of reorient to the problem we're going to see another kind of counter ambushing opportunity here when he's going to kind of just a second here he's going to turn his nose so he didn't turn his head all the way he just kind of turned his nose away like this and kind of just got where he's looking at something else you're out of his foveal vision to launch a counter ambush here, you've got to have a 1.0 draw and first shot, and that has to be on demand. And I gotta tell you, there's not too many people who can do that all the time on demand. Now, if you wanna watch a couple of them, there's several incredible instructors over on Active Self Protection Extra, and getting a 1.0 draw and first shot is not magic or anything like that, but it is a pretty high level of skill that not a lot of people possess. So only if you know what your time is can you actually launch a counter ambush confidently Otherwise, you're just guessing. Now, finally here, this guy is going to take his money, whatever, and then he's going to turn around. So if he shows you the back of his head, if he turns all the way around like this and starts to show you the back of his head, then if you have a two-second draw and first shot, you can launch a counter ambush. So that's if he shows you his shoulder or if he shows you the very back of his head, then you can launch a counter ambush and he can't get back to you. But of course, 
at this point, you kind of got to ask the question, is it worth shooting him at this point? I think he's still threatening everybody in the store with a gun. So I, I think if the employee behind the counter here had drawn a gun right now as this has gone down and, and launched a counter ambush and shot this guy, I think it would have been justified conduct, okay? He's in the midst of a robbery. And, and in Houston, Texas, in all of Texas, a robbery is considered a forcible felony that you can absolutely stop with deadly force. Your laws in your state may vary. And, and again, at some point he's leaving, right? At some point he is, is headed out there. I don't think he is yet in, in a reasonable sense, but at some point he is. And you may just decide in that moment, you know what, it's not worth my time to, uh, you know, not, not worth the, the what's going to take me in order to shoot this guy. I'm just going to let him go. Compliance is an option if you're armed. It's your only option if you're not armed. But if you're a concealed carrier, now you've got a better idea of why you want to know what your draw and first shot time is to better cover your ASP.